So I was beginning to think there was a conspiracy out with everybody in the world not wanting me to make these dumb videos because literally like my cell phone last week was like, you know, the, you go to activate it and the screen when you touch it, it doesn't open up or turn on and the battery's not charging. And I couldn't get the videos onto the computer to download them up on whatever so you can make a video. And then um, I'd use the GoPro. And then also I noticed like the last video was beyond the worst video I've ever seen. It was like muffled and loud and horrible. But then I noticed the video before that was like going all right with the GoPro. And then all of a sudden, like halfway through the voice started to get tweaked and then the next day. So I'm assuming the GoPro must just be junk. So anyway, after two days of back and forth with AT&T to get the account fixed and then going up to AT&T to get the phone repaired, turned into the guy at AT&T was the only guy there. So then I ended up having to go to um, the actual Apple store, which was a lot better, but ended up there for like ever and um, got the phone fixed. So now you're gonna have to watch these stupid videos. So today, right now, I'm actually trying to get um, the seat done, which I don't know if I can't really flip unless I do that flip thing, but we're gonna get, we're doing one of these seats. So this is kind of common. The reason I'm showing these videos because a lot of people don't really know what we do. And um, so a lot of guys buy these aluminum seats and you could get them from, this actually came from a good company, something 31, Vintage 31. Um, but you could buy these from like, um, you know, Speedway Summit or whatever. So when people get them, a lot of th people think they're trapped into um, not being able to upholster them. So we're going to upholster this today. And um, I already started filming it and then decided that we're going to make a video on it. Um, so anyway, let me turn the camera around and get that all set up. So let me put you on a tripod. Now the seat's all pretty much foamed up. I got to put some plastic around so I can slide it over and glue it. But what I did, we're going to do the seat a little differently. The customer really didn't care if this was upholstered or not. He's, I think he's more concerned with the, the face of it being comfortable. So we put the one inch foam in the back for comfort. Because it's a narrow seat, we only put um, a half inch and um, quarter inch foam on the insides and outsides. Um, this seat here, I'm gonna stitch a circle around it for the um, harness to come through. So what I did is we made a piece here that actually goes through and snake through it. So this way it's actually finished. So if the um, if you pull the seat cover where the seatbelt goes through and see inside here, it's finished. These kind of are pain, these ones with the harness, but you can see now there's that piece there. So it's sandwiches in there. I'm gonna do it on the other side. Um, I trimmed it so it's inside the foam. So now we'll have our other cover coming down. The actual cover is gonna come down. We'll have another slit around there on both sides so that your harness could go through. But if you flap out and pull it, you'll be able to see that it's a finished piece inside there. So we're gonna put this one on, then we're gonna start making the pattern. For me, I'm back, it's another day. For you, it's just another second. Before I left last night, I started patterning this out and we got the back panel made. I made the two front panels that are gonna end up going inside, you know, on the other side there, so they're gonna cover the holes inside. Um, you know, I think it would be kind of cool if we had local New England motorcycle and car news. So I was like going through, here's my print, because I had everything on my phone. And I wanted to give a shout out to some stuff that's going on. There's really not shit going on in New England right now, besides the heat running constantly. I saw that Jengris Harley Davidson in East Hartford is looking for a client advisor, so they have a help wanted. Um, they're also having a hot wing chicken cook-off, January 25th, one to three, which must be the trend because I saw that old school Harley Davidson is also doing a hot wing thing, 11. Um, saw Lincoln Tech is doing something about an art class. Motorsports Nation in Plainville has a 2020 Enduro Championship Series, February 9th, so that's another month away. Factory 5 Racing up in Mass was in Reincarnation Magazine, which if you guys don't haven't seen Reincarnation Magazine, you should. It's a great magazine for car guys. Hey Cycles, Brian is looking for a barber for his Shears and Gears barber shop, which is actually pretty cool. I haven't been out there yet, but if you're you know, a bike guy and you wanna go get a haircut, unlike me, who's not gonna get a haircut, um, you kind of get to be around in a bike shop and it's a cool environment and good people. So um, check them out. And if you're a barber looking for a chair, there's a place. Next weekend is the Springfield Motorcycle Show. January, the weekend of January 18th. The next door, they're doing the swap and sell. I think I already mentioned in a previous video that this year we're not doing it, but we will be going up to support it just to kind of look around and see what's going on. DSRA, Connecticut Street Ride Association has a Connecticut driveway winter slideshow coming up on March 8th. So that's, so far, that's pretty much it. I went through and I looked to see if there was um, anybody having any special sales or 
anything. And it's just like, I guess it's only the second week in January now ish. Nobody's posting anything. Like it's almost like all the, you know, ground up restorations didn't post anything really good. Mustangs Unlimited, um, Dixie Depot, uh, Restoration Depot. So like all of our local car places that sell stuff, I haven't really seen anything. I didn't see anything for auto bike specialty. So no one's really, it's kind of just like, I think the doldrum of the winter. So we're gonna get back to doing a seat. That was my New England news. Next, I have to make the center section here and put the pleats in it. And then I'm gonna start sewing it together. And then we're gonna put the seat together. So stay tuned. We got seat pattern, pleats in it. I'm gonna have to go and put some um, sew foam on here, sew some stuff together. I gotta do the flaps for these outer seat belt holes. So let's grab, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna grab this, this, grab the phone right here. And I'm really hoping, cause I just, I'm kind of winging it on this seat to make these um, things line up. I didn't really go crazy. And I really want the seat belt holes to line up with the outer and inner pieces. So, with that said, and I hate how I look on this stupid camera, so sorry for that. Um, okay, so here we go, up to the sewing machine. I'm gonna use this sewing machine today. Okay, so now we're sewing the seat together. We got the back already sewn, pretty much. I'm putting the welt on it, and then we'll bring it down. Well, fingers crossed that this is gonna work. Sorry the compressor's running in the background. Loud. Start the seat inside out. A lot of times you put seat covers on, you actually have them inside out and you roll them over backwards. On these ones, you don't have to put the plastic down there. Now this isn't double vision, this is me. Luckily wasn't videotaping when I had the cover on because I just ripped it and there was quite a bit of swearing, vanity, things that I would not want people to know me by. So I'm gonna try to put this cover on again, out ripping it. So it didn't go together as easily as one might think the first time. So let's try this out again. Now it's gonna be even harder because I got hold it. Take two. Now you don't always glue. We don't always glue seats more, put them down. The only reason I am on this one is I actually, on these bomber style seats and these race seats, I actually prefer them sunken in. Okay, so see if we get this back together without ripping it now. We're getting real close now. I have to get ready to make the cushion. Just trying to clean off some of the glue that I accidentally sprayed. Um, there's a couple of wrinkles and stuff here that I'm gonna have to work out afterwards. I just want to get the cushion made first. Just about ready to upholster the cushion. You see, the customer wanted it to come out flush with the front of this. Well, actually a little bit past that. So we made a cushion that actually drops in. And now I'm gonna put some other foam on it, clean it all up, make it look good, and then we'll Okay, so I am back cleaning up the seat. It's just about done. Um, I'm gonna have you take a look at it in a second here. Okay, so we have the cutouts for the seat belts. I put a little puff here so that he could actually get the lap belt through if he wants. And then, oops, I can fall over the tripod. You kind of get a gist of it. So that's the seat there. Shoot lighting. So it's just a little racy. He really didn't care if the back was 